to the home of mathematics. In this video series, we will show you the milestones in the journey of human mathematical discoveries. Leonhard Euler, 1707-1783 Euler was born on April 15, 1707 in Basel, Switzerland. Leonhard Euler was a Swiss mathematician, physicist, astronomer, geographer, logician, and engineer who made important discoveries and pioneering works in many branches of mathematics, such as infinitesimal calculus, graph theory, topology, and analytical number theory, etc. Euler is regarded as one of the greatest mathematicians in history. Carl Friedrich Gauss remarked, the study of Euler's works will remain the best school for different branches of mathematics. Euler is widely considered to be the most prolific, as his collected works fill 92 volumes, more than anyone else in the world. He spent most of his adult life in St. Petersburg, Russia, and in Berlin, then the capital of Prussia. Mr. Euler, I can't figure out the imaginary number, square root of minus one. Do you have any problem with natural numbers? One, two, three, four, five. No, sir, that is easy. Then, do you have any problem with rational number and negative numbers? No, sir. They are pretty easy, too. Well, why you accept one half, one fourth and minus one of a dollar? Not too long ago they were all unknown numbers for the equations 2x equals 1 and x plus 1 equals 0. Yes, I see. They are new numbers added to the natural numbers. I told you that square root of 2 is the root of the equation x squared equals 2, and you accepted it yesterday, and why you can't accept that imaginary number i is the root of x squared plus 1 equals 0. Indeed, all numbers, including the natural numbers and 0, have been created to solve more and more mathematical problems. Mr. Euler, how many pentagons and hexagons are there on the surface of a soccer ball? Hmm, I just found a simple formula. V minus E plus F equals 2 to calculate how many pentagons and hexagons you can fit on the surface of a soccer ball. Let P be the number of pentagons and H be the number of hexagons. F equals P plus H, E equals 5P plus 6H, divided by 2, V equals 5P plus 6H, divided by 3. Substitute F, E, and V into the Euler's formula. 5P plus 6H over 3 minus 5P plus 6H over 2 plus P plus H equals 2. We have P equals 12 H equals 20. 
Mr. Euler, how can I draw a figure with a continuous line without leaving the pen from the paper? Well, this is not always possible. The figures which you can draw possess certain properties. If all the nodes are evenly connected or only two nodes have an odd connection, this figure can always be completed no matter you start with which node, as the connections of all the nodes are even. This figure can only be completed starting at a node at the bottom, as the connections of the bottom nodes are odd. This figure cannot be completed, as the connections of all the nodes are odd. Thank you for watching. Talent is important, but how one develops and nurtures it is even more so. See you at the home of mathematics.